It is not uncommon that popular cartoon shows are ripped off and a lot of the times the new versions are inferior to the original and produced on a lower budget. However, there are some occasions when the imitations are just as well liked as the original or become even more popular than their prototype. Here are some of the best known cartoon shows along with their imitations from other countries. Come on children, don't be shy, just give it your best shot. Yes Clyde? Twelve? Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Let's jump right in with one of the biggest media franchises of the last 20 years, the super popular Japanese anime Pokemon. The show follows Ash and his partner Pikachu as they travel across different regions trying to become a Pokemon master. Apart from several Japanese ripoffs of the show like Digimon or Yokai Watch, there is also a Brazilian version called Dogmons. Here Ash is called Alex and his sidekick is Green Dog instead of Pikachu. However, the series ended after just one episode that was released in five parts while another two episodes were produced and voiced but never aired. It has been a long time since Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles first made their way into our lives and so it is not surprising that there are several ripoffs of the show. One of the most obvious ones is Kung Fu Dino Posse that even has the reptiles and Asian fighting style in the title. The show that was created in 2010 lasted only for about a year and has pretty much the same description as the original. There are also a group of young reptiles who fight crime in the city using Asian combat techniques except they're dinosaurs instead of turtles. <gasps> Oh. Hey, you know, this yogurt isn't so bad, big brother. It's yoga, not yogurt, you dunderhead! Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. Yoga. Oh. The British-Canadian-Australian TV show Pixel Pinky that first aired in 2009 tells the story of a girl named Nina who gets a cell phone for her birthday that contains a digital genie by the name of Pixel Pinky granting her wishes. These wishes usually result in chaos much like in the American Nickelodeon show The Fairly Odd Parents, where Timmy Turner has very similar experiences. It is fairly obvious though that the original show had a bigger budget and as so often it is far superior to the ripoff in most other ways as well. The Amazing World of Gumball is an English-American cartoon series produced by Cartoon Network since 2011. The popular series follows 12-year-old Gumball Watterson, who is a blue cat and lives with his family and other weird creatures. However, coming up with an original idea and turning it into a successful show is not the easiest thing to do, and if you live in a country that doesn't have the strictest copyright laws, it might be easier to simply develop a knockoff of an already existing successful show. Broken. Dude, that's not a controller. Yeah! It's the remote for Mr. Dad's new massage chair. <laughs> One of the countries where this is possible is China, and so they went ahead and created a cartoon called Miracle Star, where the main characters are goats instead of blue cats, and they live in a big Chinese apartment building instead of a typical American townhouse. It is such a blatant ripoff that the creators of The Amazing World of Gumball made an episode called The Copycats, where the Watersons find out about a family who imitates them. Alright, I'm out of here. What? But why? What's going on? Look, I was gonna invite you guys to a sleepover, but I think it's best if I don't. I don't wanna make any waves between you and Darwin. I just think you guys need a little chat. In front of a shrink. Another Chinese ripoff of a popular American cartoon show is The Legend of Lucky Pie, which is a version of the Cartoon Network show Adventure Time. Both shows feature an image of the main character standing on top of a mountain and raising his arms towards the title of the show in the opening sequence. Other similarities include the animation style, the character's noodle-like arms and legs, the square-shaped heads, and the fact that both protagonists carry a backpack. And even though the Chinese version features a talking horse as a sidekick instead of Jake the dog, the idea for that is taken from the American original as well. 
If you enjoyed watching Scooby-Doo because of the group of teenage friends who solve mysteries along with their talking dog, then you might want to consider giving the Australian version Goober and the Ghost Chasers a try as well. The shows basically have the same description and were even produced by the same company. However, unlike Scooby, Goober can become invisible and an even more striking difference between the two shows is that the Australian teens capture real ghosts most of the time. So instead of catching people in strange costumes, the Ghost Chasers are a lot more powerful powerful than the mystery gang and solve mysteries that actually involve the paranormal. They also get around in a tank-like vehicle with six wheels instead of a bright green van. Another very popular cartoon on television all around the world is SpongeBob SquarePants, the show about the misadventures of a talking sea sponge. Naturally, a knockoff series was bound to be made, and unsurprisingly, it is another Chinese creation called Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island. Even though it takes place on land instead of under the water, it kept the tropical theme and the quirky characters and even tried to copy the crazy humor of its role model. The show was so unpopular, however, that it was cancelled after only 13 episodes. Episodes. Rob Paulson, who is famous for giving his voice to several well-known cartoon characters such as Raphael and Donatello from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, also voiced this show's title character Coconut Fred, but has since said that it was nothing more than a shameless SpongeBob SquarePants knockoff and that he doesn't like to remember having been involved in the show's production. He cut off his own hand by mistake. You mean like this? Or like this? Or this? Or this? But what about this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Except or th he wasn't a sponge. So? So it didn't grow back! Oh, yeah! The Simpsons is the longest running cartoon show on American television and as well as other countries for which it has been dubbed in numerous languages. However, one country decided to take a different approach and instead of dubbing the show for their domestic television, Georgia created their own version called The Samsonades. Even though the creator denied simply having produced a ripoff, his statement did not really change people's first impression. He said his show was about a Georgian family had Georgian themes and their own typical Georgian jokes, which is undeniable especially when you see that there is an episode with a shape-shifting Vladimir Putin while bearing in mind George's history with Russia, yet neither one can overlook the fact that it bears an uncanny resemblance to the popular Simpsons. Homer, what's going on down there? Nothing. Then stop screaming so loud! Okay. <laughs> Another country that has quite loose copyright laws is Russia, and so unsurprisingly they have created a pretty obvious knockoff series that made it onto our list as well. They didn't even bother to change the name of Disney's Gravity Falls, but just wrote the title in Cyrillic. The show follows twin siblings Dipper and Mabel, who are sent to their uncle's place in the rural town of Gravity Falls. The Russian version tells basically the same story, with twins Dima and Masha being sent away to the woods to their uncle Stepin, except instead of learning mysterious secrets about the town, they learn the Tartar language while experiencing some paranormal adventures. My name is Dipper. The girl about to puke is my sister Mabel. You may be wondering what we're doing in a golf cart, fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. Ah! Thank you all for coming on such short notice. This just isn't like you, Stanley. What did my son say, Mr. Mackey? Did he say the S word? No, it was worse than that. The F word? Well, here's a short list of the things they've been saying. Okay. If you like bizarre knockoffs of popular cartoons, you definitely need to see this one. Produced in Kawat, Block 13 is done in the exact same style as South Park and also has other striking similarities to the American show created by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. If you compare the main characters of both shows, you'll recognize the Kawat version of Cartman, who is wearing a traditional hat instead of a beanie. There is Kawat Kyle with a similar hat as the American one, and Kawat Stan who doesn't wear a hat for some reason, and of course Kawat Kenny, whose face is covered with a kafea instead of a hood. The show even stole the running gag of Kenny being killed under mysterious circumstances in every episode. We are not sure if there are more similarities in the terms of content or if Block 13 also deals with current events in a satirical way, because the show only exists in Arabic and there are no subtitled versions of the show to be found on the internet. <laughs> What did you say? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, what I said was... 
Thank you for checking this video out and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again thank you for watching and see you next time.